How's it going, everybody? We are back with the final trial of Phoenix Wright, and back to being blind after the little mishap with recording in the last session. So from here on out, I don't know what's going to happen. It seems at this point that Emma accidentally killed Neil Marshall. That sure is how it seems. I'm, uh, I'm totally uh, not totally sold on it. I feel like we're going to figure out something else. And we still got to prove uh, a lot of other shit, figure out a lot of other stuff. So we'll see how it all goes. Didn't mean to get you in trouble. Hmm. Don't worry about it. This is my problem, not yours. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Pals. Is that, I feel like it's the first time you've said pals. That's really weird. Oh, guess I am. I'll come back later. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, anyway, what is it? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just let us know what, what's up. You got a lot of nerve, pal, making a detective run around while on duty. Wait, what? I'm making you run around? Okay, that's what I figured, because she did that before. I'm like, is it the same thing again? Yeah, it is. What did she want him to get this time? And why did you think it was me, when you already found out before that she did it the first time? The hell is that? Evidence law? Okay. Evidence law. Yeah, the two, the two rules. Did we establish both? Did we ever establish number two? Does that whole book contain only two rules? The chief prosecutor... What well, the fucking voice, man. The chief prosecutor also wanted me to give you a message. A message? She said, if you're planning to take him on... Yeah. You're going to need this book. Oh, I'm gonna take him on. I guess I'll need to give this book a thorough read. Do we have time for something like that? Securely into pocket. Good to know. Doesn't look like that book will do you any good now, though. All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Huh? Haven't you figured it out yet? I mean, does she get punishment for the evidence forging thing? I don't know, this game never actually tells you what anyone's punishment for anything ever is. I wish it did. Despite all these allegations being thrown at me, Mr. Edgeworth. The real trial today hasn't begun yet. What? What else is there left to do? Your credibility's been all but ruined with this forged evidence you were unaware of. Emma Sky found out she unwittingly caused a man's death. And now, you're telling me you want to do more? You gotta be kidding me, pal. You're missing the point, Detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. I mean... Oh yeah, we didn't prove that yet. She just told that to us. That's right, nobody else knows it. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. That means the real killer is still out there. And not only do I have to keep track of what I know, I gotta, I gotta remember who knows what in the game and who doesn't know it yet. We're going to expose him, no matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. Thank God. It's hurt me a little bit too. <laughs> Being so complicated and long. So let's do this thing. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Skye. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. The Inquiry Committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. Thank you for the news, Your Honor. Yes, well, ahem. Normally, this is where the prosecution calls forth a witness. But, uh, <laughs> this isn't easy to say. You see, there is some concern that Mr. Edgeworth may have, uh, struck a bargain. You think I may have manipulated the witnesses? I didn't say that. It's just, you see, everyone has been talking, and... Very well, Your Honor. I have a solution. A solution? That being the case, the prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. It's not Edgeworth you should be concerned about, it's Gant. Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement, but a very effective one. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. Oh, Mr. Wright, what do you say? Unbelievable. Edgeworth has found a way to continue the trial. Crever, very clever. And it's settled. The uh, defense may now call forth the next witness. 
Mr. Wright? I call, uh, uh, Polly the Parrot. No, wrong one. Uh, uh, Gant. Who else is there that hasn't talked yet? Everybody's been up already. Unless we need to talk to them again. Oh, fuck. I, man, I was just wondering who it was gonna be. I didn't want you to give me this choice. I wanted you to tell me the answer. <laughs> Damn it, game. Uh, how dare you make me interact and play the game? Why don't you make my decisions for me? Shit, uh, Bruce Goodman. Probably. Oh, it's the real- okay, well that's easy then. I didn't read the text. I just thought I was calling a witness, but if I'm, if I'm supposed to call the real murderer, then yeah, I got it. Here you go, bitch. Damon Gant. The defense calls Damon Gant to the stand. He pops up there when he's not asked to anyway, so it shouldn't be that much trouble. As the defendant's partner two years ago, Mr. Gant has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should hear what he has to say about it. Huh. As luck would have it, he should still be in the courthouse. He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? True. All right, bailiff. Please escort Mr. Gant to the stand. I'd like to get to know the bailiff. What's his story? Can we can we talk to him for a while? I don't know. He's just the uh, the unsung hero of the courtroom. What is this? Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. Your name and occupation, sir. Worthy, are you sure you want to do this? Your name and occupation. So. You want to play hardball, eh? Please, Mr. Gant. Fine. My name is Damon Gant. I'm the acting chief of police. Now then, Chief Gant, the court requests to hear your testimony. Oh, right -o. What's with the grim face? First, let's clear up this SL9 incident. Oh, you mean that time when Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? Well, I mean, I... T yeah? Personally, I think it's been played pretty clear already. Nah, 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 nah. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh, like what? Like the role you played in all of this. Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. I think it's a little bit of both. You are aware, of course, that the police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Sure, take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. Why? What? I think you do. I'm afraid. What? Who fucking wrote that rule? Well, I don't think I need to question who. It was probably the chief of police. <laughs> what the heck? Why? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. God, what the hell? Of course, such an action carries with it certain risks. Don't worry, I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember, if this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. Very well, the witness may now begin his testimony. So he's gonna? Okay. What's he gonna say? As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. Well, I would like you to make a long story long and explain how you slipped up. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently, she had already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Ah, uh, is that when Dark was arrested? Him, him, he was lying on the floor unconscious. Why? Why would he be unconscious? That wasn't part of the testimony, so I can't even question that. When Emma sent Neil flying, it seemed as Dark bumped his head. Really? Unless... Uh, I don't know, or unless like something fell? I was thinking like the vase fell on him? But I still don't know how that works, because it fell over. It didn't break then, it just fell over and Emma saw it at that angle. Everything seems pretty clear cut. If the police chief has the right to refuse to testify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
make him regret not refusing. <laughs> Press. As I recall, a ceremony was held at the police department that day. Yes, that's right. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. After winning his award, Neil was all fired up too. That's probably what spooked Dark and made him run away like that. Was the defendant on a sky also present in the room? I don't quite remember. At the very least, she wasn't there when Dark ran for it. Alright, how did you slip up? What did you do? So the two of you ran immediately- well, that's not the question that should be asked. That's right, but Dark made it to the elevator first. So Neil and I split up. He went upstairs and I went downstairs. I guess you could say... He got lucky. Well, he ended up dead. Or are you talking about Dark? He ended up dead too. <laughs> What's this about a power outage? Oh, that? The elevator stopped all of a sudden and I got the shock of my life. Talking about case four again, the stopped elevator. Let's hope it doesn't end the same way as that did, where it was revealed that the power came back on at the exact moment for Von Karma to come into the elevator. I didn't really like that. That was weird. It was like, oh, well, that was never explained that that's when the power came back on. It was kind of odd. Probably not as shocked as Neil was when that knife went into his heart, though. It's not fun. <laughs> okay, so... Lana was there, and Emma, and... Joe. It was a shocking sight. Neil and that serial killer were lying in a heap on the floor, all tangled together. So Lana, on her own, decided to do the knife-stabbing thing. Where did she get that knife, like, that quickly? And I know she would have done it to protect Emma, but you told her to do the knife thing to Goodman, so I feel like you told her to do this one, too. Or you did it yourself. And what... Uh, and it, mm, I don't know. I'm sure this happened. You know, they arranged this crime scene, but I, I think Gantz is the one who did it. Yes, apparently he hit his head when he was knocked out. I wouldn't be surprised if Gant fucking punched him in the head. Lana and Emma. Lana was cradling Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now, she must have already known what her sister had done. How could she have known that? Apparently she did. Or she knew what you told her happened? I don't know, I'm trying to blame Gant for everything. How can you know that? I'm saying, that's what I'm talking about. Because of the victim's body, it had already been moved. Oh, we're talking about something else, okay. So that means... You found the body near Lana's desk. That's right. I think you said earlier, it was my suit of armor that really stabbed the prosecutor. Yes. So you knew that and never said anything? Because you seem to know she moved the body. I don't believe you. So you're saying that the forgery had already taken place by the time you arrived at your office? That's exactly what I'm saying. I can understand how Lana must have felt. But moving a body and hiding evidence are inexcusable no matter what the circumstances. Motherfucker. You ha Does he not know we went in his safe? He caught us in his room. Is that how it really went down? I mean, you hid evidence. In a safe. If you're going to stare at anything, you'd be better off staring at the court record. Worthy, worthy, always the smooth talker. He probably tells that to women. Don't stare at me. Stare at my court record. That can't be the whole truth. I mean, not that he would ever cheat on Gumshoe, but you know what I mean. Somehow I've got to link Gant to the incident. Uh, well, he had fucking shit in his safe. What can I present that on, though? We slipped up. Lana was there. She arranged it. Probably on that one, saying that he had nothing to do with it. What do I present? Uh, I, I want to say the, the vase. Or the evidence list, because he had that in his desk. Or the cloth. I, I want to go with the vase again. The jar. 
You claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. But I'm afraid that is a claim you cannot back up. Explain yourself. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this jar, for example. What's that blue? No comment! A piece of this jar was discovered in your safe. Not only that, but the evidence list I presented earlier was actually found inside your desk. It was found where? Desk, Judge. Desk. You see, Chief Gant, these articles of evidence uncovered in your office are both concrete proof that you are also played a part in the illegal investigation. Chief Gant, what's the meaning of this? Oh, that's not nice. Here's a defense attorney who may even rival Worthy. Well, I've beaten him every time. So you admit to it, then. Half the time he helps me, though, so I don't know how much credit I can take. Who, me? Or do you mean you? Me? Why would I have anything to do with that? Well, you were the one who snuck into my office when you... I had an, a, a, an ID card. The person who owned the ID card with me, they opened the door. There's no sneaking. Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. Defense attorneys can do so, too. Isn't that right, right-ho? However, Detective Gumshoe was present during the investigation. Were they, my boy? Not even detectives are exempt from the law. Rest assured, Dick will receive his due punishment. What? If Detective Gumshoe's salary dro- Well, didn't he say he was gonna fire him? Yes, well, in l Oh, damn it, fuck. In light of the detective's presence, please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office and their relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene. My, my. Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. How are you going to explain this one? Let's see, what was it now? A jar fragment? And a list? And a cloth? For all I know, you could have... Well, let's f fucking get over that. Explain why the... Oh, God damn it. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. Why? There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. I don't believe you. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help. It would. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. When investigating the crime scene, you should have been more careful to observe protocol. You do understand that I am the chief of police, right? There will be consequences. Indeed, I believe I will press charges, so you won't make the same mistake again. My apologies, Chief, but would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that? Yeah, he'll be in jail then. It's fine. Today is, well, you know. Today is... My, my wife's making macaroni. I gotta get home for dinner. All right, Oji. In return, though. I know, I know. That place, right? Uh... No comments again. I mean, I mean, like, they're gonna go get dinner together, they're gonna go swimming, they're gonna bang, what's happening? Gant would definitely be the top in that situation, though. Just throwing that out there. For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove, uh, oh yeah, I'm pressing. Sometimes I forget that. <laughs> I just start reading the testimony again. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop making these ridiculous allegations. Yes, you do have a point. You wouldn't have the guts to do something like that. Exactly. Wait. I mean, you... Uh, I don't agree, but... It's not about guts, it's about not being an asshole. If you're going to acknowledge that, then you're saying I didn't plant it. So then we're... That's fine. If we've reached that conclusion, you can call me whatever you want. Call me gutless, I don't give a shit. Did you? Into a cattle ranch. Well, <laughs> it's not relevant. You can't prove you didn't carry in the evidence, can you? Can I? Later? What are you talking about? What else? I'm talking about when your fingerprints are found. Found where? Well, of course they would be. I opened it. And I pulled the stuff out of it. 
Well. Eh. 